Hey everyone, and welcome to group break number 120. Today we have our, or sorry, 122. Uh, today we have a nice little mixer here, a typical football mixer with two blashes of mosaic, two blashes of prism, and two cellos of uh, mosaic, which have just been, the cellos have just been crushing it lately. Uh, just the pink camo packs alone have been insane value i think we've hit a burrow like at least one or two of the big rookies in the pink camos like in each box every single time so um yeah it's just been crazy and yeah so anyways uh let's get on with the randoms here so we'll do three times on the names three times on the teams who you line up with is who you get again thank you everyone for getting spots um i know um in coming weeks we'll probably have some changes to uh spot limits just because you know more people we want to get as many people into the breaks as we can um and yeah so it's but yeah so more news on that probably later but anyways uh here we go three times on the names three times on the teams once twice and third time All right. And again, at any point, if I ever mispronounce your name or you want like your username or something, um, just let me know if you want your like username, your Twitch username or a different username that you go by. Um, just leave it in the break notes or send an email after. Um, that way we can make sure it's, you know, taken care of. So uh, three times on the teams. Once, twice. And third time. All right. But yeah, uh, should be good. So here we go. Good luck. All right. Jesse, you've got the New England Patriots. Uh, Kyle with the Buffalo Bills. Adam, you've got the Jets. Henry with the Bucks. Matt, you got the Cowboys. Blake with the 49ers. Uh, Renee with the Panthers. Gabriel with the Dolphins. Uh, Alfred with the Chicago Bears, uh, Amit with the Cleveland Browns, Jesse, you got the Washington football team, Steven, you've got the Green Bay Packers, Patrick, you've got the Giants, Sergio, you've got the Eagles, uh, John, you've got the uh, Denver Broncos, Robert, you've got the Jacksonville Jaguars, Gabriel, you've got the Chiefs, Patrick, you've got the Falcons, Ivan, you've got the Saints, John, you've got the Ravens, Stefan, you've got the Titans, Jason, you've got the Raiders. Matt, you've got the Vikings. Jesse, you've got the Texans. Gabriel, you got the Chargers. Well, let's see. It's your first time with us. You got uh, the literally like the three best teams, I'd say. Like three of the best teams. So, uh, Scott, you got the Seahawks. Uh, Jeremy with the Steelers. Ryan with the Bengals. Patrick with the Lions. Uh, Joseph with the Colts. Blake with the Cardinals. And Justin with the Rams. All right, so we'll leave a couple seconds, couple minutes for trades here. Again, as always with trades, I will if you do find someone to trade with, I will need you both to email me, um, just with your order numbers and confirming the trade. Um, if you do make a trade, if not, uh, again, like no pressure to, but um, I know some people do like to trade, so just giving them that option. I'll get the team viewer up here shortly. That is, that is a pretty good random though for you, Gabriel. That is uh, I mean, I like between Tua and, I mean, yeah, between Tua and Herbert, I mean, I guess they do, uh, they do show up in the same box. It feels like to me at least. Um, because Burrow's kind of with the others. So. Alright. We are saved. Team viewer. Alright. So we will do a... Uh... Yeah, it, honestly, might we might even go down to... We might even go down to one there just because there's we're looking at traffic and stuff and there's a lot of people at once and it's just it's tough right uh it, it's it's a fine line between wanting to allow people to get like a couple spots and also wanting as many people to get in as possible so um 
but yeah, moving forward, we're definitely looking at it. Like, uh, you know, the three spot limit was kind of put in because it was, you know, there were a couple people with four. So, um, but yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get st started. Uh, soccer, unfortunately, if you're not in the break, um, you can't buy into it just because of how the back end processes stuff. So it just has to be a straight up trade, unfortunately. So, and just based off how we ship and stuff. So, all right. Ah, uh, and you can, I guess you can wait for him to get, or for them to get the cards and ship it your way. But, um, yeah, like it will always get shipped out to him no matter what. So, ah. Uh, here we go. I really don't see much on the trade front, so let's get going. Uh, start off with Mosaic with the Blasters. Again, kind of go from lowest potential to highest, uh, with the highest obviously being Prism because it's Prism. Although Mosaic, Mosaic pulls a lot of weight in football. So here we go. Ah, almost lost my knife there. That would have not been good. A little box cutter. I went to take all the cardboard recycling down today and uh, it was full because there's been a bunch of, like a couple people moving into the building that I live in where I do the breaks from. Um, ooh, I think we got an autograph right off the bat. Uh, well, that, that's a start. All right, we'll take the uh, kid reporter card because those are useless. Uh, Parker for the Dolphins. Saturday for the Colts. Uh, for the 49ers, uh, scripts of Jimmy Ward. So starting off the break with an autograph right away. Really good start. And Kirk for the Cardinals on the green. And probably not the biggest name, but hey, it's, it's an auto. And hidden an auto is rare, so... It's one of those things like, you know, anytime you can hit, hit ink when you're not guaranteed it, it's better than not hitting it. So All right, I need to move my garbage can slightly because I will be dropping packs everywhere. Otherwise, uh, Woodson for the Raiders, Dawkins for the Eagles, uh, Auk for the 49ers on the rookie, and Herman Moore for the Lions on the silver. So good, uh, good start autograph <laughs> first pack and we'll sleeve up like, uh, sleeve up and top load all the silvers as we go along. Um, as always with mosaic, there's always going to be print line issues. Um, I'll try to call them out if they're really bad or like same with like the, where it looks like almost someone's like shoved their fingernail into the card. Um, but if they're really bad, then, uh, like I'll try to call them out, but just as a heads up. So, uh, Lattimore for the Saints, Jones for the Packers, Burns for the Panthers, and Claypool on the green debut for the Steelers. And the Super Bowl reporter card. So, uh, we'll sleeve up the any kind of major color rookie, even if it's a debut. I guess we'll sleeve them up for, sleeve and top loader for now. Yeah, I mean, Herbert, the Herbert debut is just not quite there. Moss for the Vikings. Brown for the Titans, even though dollar-wise it's probably fine. Uh, Jordan Love for the Packers on the debut rookie, and Saquon on the got game for the Giants. So, sleeve up the debuts, but they're not, like, value-wise, probably not the biggest, just because they're not the trues, but Sherman for the 49ers, Elway for the Broncos, Thomas for the Ravens, and Patrick Queen for the Ravens on the green mosaic, and another Kid Reporter. And A 3D Kingdom, Tannehill for the Titans, uh, Slayton for the Giants, uh, Swift for the Lions on the Rookie, and Tom Brady for the Bucks on the Touchdown Masters. He's doing another one of those golf matches, which will be uh, pretty fun, him and Phil against uh, DeChambeau and Rodgers. Uh, Michelle for the Patriots, Boomer for the Bengals, Fitzgerald for the uh, Cardinals and Tomlinson for the Chargers. Yeah, yeah, it's nice when it's definitely nice when the cards are in like good shape. 
uh, especially pris or like prism and mosaic mosaic especially like you can kind of see it on the merino again if you're new to it um it does have like general uh print line issues uh patrick i will pull it up after this blaster just because there's a few patricks so uh merino for the dolphins uh bosa for the 49ers uh, lamar jackson for the ravens on the mvps and flea flicker uh green for the jacksonville jaguars yep so good start uh i mean decent rookies in the uh like at least a love debut and a claypool green uh debut but nothing like and an autograph autographs are always nice so even if it's not again even if it's not the biggest name it's still a cool card and it's fair to hit and i feel like sometimes what gets lost in a lot of like the cards stuff is like everyone's always chasing the big name but a lot of people forget to kind of go after um or like a lot of people forget like how rare some of the cards can be like you could hit a really rare card and yeah it may not sell for a ton but like it's still cool and it's still rare like you know gotta cherish those victories too right both for the chargers brown for the bills watson for the texans and nelson for the packers on the green mosaic So, yeah, the Mosaic Blasters haven't been that real good to us, so that's kind of a nice, to, nice start. Uh, Bayard for the Titans, Barber for the Giants, James Morgan for the Jets, and Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals on the World Win. Uh, Edelman for the Patriots, Ryan for the Falcons, Sutton for the Broncos, and Barry Sanders on the Mosaic for the Lions. Pat, let me know. Patrick, let me know if you got your teams. Uh, Williams for the Dolphins. Russell Wilson for the Seahawks. Bradshaw for the Steelers. And Aaron Donald on the got game for the Rams. But I'll throw it up again as we go into the next, into the cellos, just to make sure. Uh, Jackson for the Eagles. Brunel for the Jaguars. Ooh, missed one. Uh, Landry for the Browns. And Bradshaw on the Green Mosaic for the Steelers. There's a nice Mahomes prism coming up here. Uh, Saquon for the Giants. Crosby for the Raiders. Uh, Okuda for the Lions. And nice. That's actually the nice mosaic to get. Uh, touchdown Masters mosaic of Pat Mahomes for the Chiefs. Anything Mahomes is pretty much sleeve and top load. His market is crazy. Honestly, I, I don't know if that's quite stand worthy, but it, it's probably pretty close. If it was like his base, probably a little bit more, but Godwin for the Bucks, King for the Packers, Montgomery for the Bears, uh, Largent for the Seahawks on the Green Mosaic. Uh, Allen for the Chargers. Allen's got some dots in the bottom of the corner. Juju for the Steelers. Uh, Akers on the debut rookie for the Rams. And Drew Brees for the Saints on the Touchdown Masters. So not a bad start. Uh, Mahomes Mosaic is always good. Auto is always great. You take those victories where you can. Uh, yeah, not the best, not the worst. All right. So Team Viewer again and get into uh, the cells. So as we normally do with uh, the cells, we're going to open up uh, all the packs first and then do the pink camos first and finish off with the regular packs. So... So we'll kind of depack it because there are so many different packs. The pack section is definitely real. So we'll leave this up for a little bit, but hopefully everyone's having a good day. I am excited. Tomorrow I go get to get my vaccine which I am very excited for. I found out a date for further medical testing too on a yesterday, albeit it's a long time from now, so good and bad, but looking forward to getting my shot tomorrow and hearing that, you know, 70 plus in BC can get their second dose book starting tonight, which I am very, very much excited about for my grandparents, so. 
I know they're excited too because it's just you know that added extra layer of protection and yeah. All right. I wonder if Aaron, because I think didn't isn't there uh, Aaron Rodgers not reporting to camp right now too? Um, back to football because. I know he kind of wants out of Green Bay, and that'd be interesting to follow, to say the least. So, next up, and last pack. All right. So, there's all the cells. We'll start off with the pink. And we'll go from there. All right. Uh, Montgomery for the Bears. Crosby for the Raiders. And Gibson for the Washington football team on the rookie. Is Gibson the good one? I can't quite remember, but for now, I'll just sleep in top load because I have them right beside me. So, And we'll switch back to full screen. There we go. Chase Young, okay. There we go, that was tricky to open. Uh, King for the Packers. I, kn I knew Chase Young was the one to look for, but I didn't know if he was good too. Uh, Barkley for the Giants and Aikman for the Cowboys. And then it's uh, not Duvernay, the Dobbins is the better one, right? Uh, Elliot for the Cowboys, uh, Godwin for the Bucks. And true of Duvernay on the pink camels for the Ravens. Just leave it for now. Always get confused between those two. Singletary for the Bills. Sherman for the 49ers. And Moss for the Bills. Again, just leave it up as we go along. Um, all the rookie like pinks and colors, I'll sleeve it along the way. Uh, if they're like the really big players, then we'll uh, topple them, but... I feel like it's just best to sleeve them along the way because they do hold some value. Uh, Boomer for the Bengals, Moss for the Vikings, and Irving for the Cowboys. We have a nice storm going on outside too. It's been pretty wild weather-wise today. Garrett for the Browns, Michelle for the Patriots, and Green for the Panthers on the Pinks. I went for groceries this morning. Ooh, that's a that's a good one right there. Ryan for the Falcons, Wilson for the Seahawks, and debut of uh, Ceh for the Chiefs. Even though it's uh, not the true, it's still a good one. We are already on to. Well, we only had like five top loaders, but that one I know is a sleeve and top load right away. At least, well, 100% sleeve. But if I'm sleeving all of them, oh, there we go. Hurts time. Landry for the Browns. Ricky Williams for the Dolphins. And Hurts on the true pink camo. We pulled his true mosaic last week. This week it's his pink camo showing up. Nice one there for the Eagles. Slide that in there. Uh, Brunel for the Jags. Uh, Jackson for the Eagles and TJ Watt for the Steelers on the Pro Bowl. And there's Rieger. Uh, Tony Gonzalez for the Chiefs. Juju for the Steelers and Rieger for the Eagles. 2021 is going to be insane. I mean, this year is pretty crazy. Like, it seems like this year is at least pretty crazy. I know there are some really good QBs in the draft this year, like just based off how people were talking, but like given everything, I yeah, it's going to be crazy, I guess. Uh, Fitzgerald for the Cardinals, Brown for the Titans, AJ Dillon for the Packers. Again, I'm not the, I don't follow football super closely, so, um, and know like the main names. Yeah, yeah, Lawrence is like seeing some of his like score stuff is just crazy. Like when when your when their collegiate score rookie autos are going for like big 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 dollars 
early on. That is just, that's nuts. Uh, Lindsay for the Broncos, Slayton for the Giants, and Eason for the Colts on the debut pink. But yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be interesting. I need more regular card sleeves. I can already tell when I'm going to need those. Because we aren't even like that far into the break and I've already used like a decent chunk. So Garrett for the Browns, Hicks for the Cardinals, Adams for the Jets, Cup for the Rams, uh, Jerry Rice on the Will to Win Green Mosaic for the 49ers, and Chase Young for Washington. So nice Chase Young true rookie. But yeah, it's, I mean, I, I know that he's got like super high. I mean, anytime a player gets their own set from a company, from a card company, there's lots of hype there. So Mac for the Bears, Minshew for the Jaguars, uh, Riggins for Washington, Elway on the Green Mosaic for the Broncos, Old School of Jerry Rice for the 49ers, and Jim Kelly for the Bills. So it'll just be interesting to see like how the hobby does over the next year. Uh, Lamar for the Ravens, uh, Dick Butkus for the Bears, Tiki Barber for the Giants, Bosa for the Chargers, that one's got the little fingernail wart thing there. Uh, nice silver here, Juju for the Steelers. Uh, a couple little print lines, but nothing major, some little dots. And then Ayuk for the 49ers on the rookie. Because it, it seems like over the past little bit, like it, the card market isn't increasing anymore. It kind of seems like it's a little bit on the flat side, which is fine. I know there's going to be some people that are disappointed. Like, if if like if it does eventually drop, there will be some people that will be disappointed. But like Dawson for the Chiefs, Van Der Esch for the Cowboys. I'll finish my thought after this. Uh, Byard for the Titans, Thomas for the Saints on the Green Mosaic, uh, Dalvin Cook for the Vikings on the Touchdown Masters, and Jordan Love on the debut for the Packers. Um, but like, if the market still ends up above where it started before everything went crazy last year. Like, that's a huge, huge, huge success. Watt for the Texans, Fuller for the Bears, Wilson for the Seahawks, Edelman for the Patriots, and Randy Moss for the Vikings on the old school, and DeAndre Swift for the Lions. Like, there will be some people calling it, like, junk wax era, but it, it isn't. Like, it really isn't. The print control that the companies do over these is pretty solid, so... Johnson for the Lions, Edmonds for the Bills, uh, Williams for the Dolphins, Gilmore for the Patriots on the Green Mosaic, uh, Flea Flicker for the Bills, and Lamar Jackson for the Ravens on the MVPs. And they also have to be mindful of it too because like last time we got to that point, you know, the sports card industry took a hit. And if they took a hit, take a hit from overprinting, um, you know, it's going to affect them. So they're kind of managing that as best as they can. It's really interesting to watch. Jones for the Falcons, Stafford for the Lions, Henry for the Titans, Manning for the Giants, uh, Manning for the, uh, as Eli Manning for the Giants, Peyton Manning for the Colts on the Will to Win, and Ruggs for the Raiders on the Rookie. Yeah, it, it's essentially, it's kind of, I've always referred to it as a paper stock market, especially with rookie cards. Rookie cards are... Your staple rookies in each product, so like prism rookies, I would say, in football and basketball. Um, baseball is your top series one or your Bowman first. And then hockey is your young guns. Those are your staples. And those ones always will always, always, always hold value. Uh, Fournette for the Jaguars. Hunt for the Browns. Uh, Hunter for the Vikings. Bosa for the Chargers on the Mosaic. Leonard for the Colts on the game. And Moss for the Vikings. So I, I'm still like, I'm very excited for the hobby moving forward. Allen for the Bills, Adams for the Packers, because there's more people interested in it, right? Dawkins for the Eagles, Vaughn Miller for the Broncos on the Green Mosaic, uh, Adam Thielen for the Vikings on the Got Game, and Marino for the Dolphins. And like, I'm excited once, you know, every, like, once COVID's all over and um, whenever that will be, um, like all card shows starting up again and seeing people there. Um, and just seeing all the new interest in the hobby. Khalil Mack for the Bears, this one's got a really bad, like, warp there. Uh, Minshew for the Jaguars, it's got a little bit of a leftover there. Uh, Parker for the Dolphins, same thing, it's kind of on that left side there. 
Uh, Steve Young for the 49ers, nothing there. For the Cardinals, Flea Flicker Green. And Bowden Jr. for the Raiders. So, oh, I'm looking forward to it. I miss, I really miss, because I used to set up at like the monthly shows in Vancouver, and I, I miss going to those. Uh, Hopkins for the Cardinals, Davis for the Broncos, Lattimore for the Saints, Woodson for the Raiders, Rogers for the Packers on the will to win, and Kelly for the Chargers. Partially because it was nice to move some of my cards around. Um, and like be able to, you know, go and buy different stuff. And I just haven't been like really motivated to sell online lately. And other is just to, you know, talk to people about the hobby. And that's why I like doing breaks too, right? Watson for the Texans, uh, Tillman for the Bears, Brown for the Titans, Bradshaw for the Steelers on the Silver Mosaic, Chubb for the Browns on the Got Game, and Cole Komet for the Bears on the debut rookie. I think right now the only like... The only major one that's in the works still is the, um, in at least the Vancouver area. I think they're going to try and bring the November show back. Um, but again, it depends on everything. So Prescott for the Cowboys, Ridley for the Falcons, Crosby for the Raiders, uh, Jackson for the Eagles, uh, Jacobs on the green mosaic for the, the green got game mosaic for the uh, Raiders, and Claypool true rookie for the Steelers. So... And those like those big card shows, card shows are pretty fun, especially when you get like the big brands out there, and um, it's always a good time. You know, just being able to meet people, have fun—that's what it's all about. That's what the hobby's about in general. So, Hawkinson for the Lions, Chark for the Jaguars, Barkley for the Giants, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. for the Browns on the Green Mosaic, Lamar Jackson on the Will of Win for the Ravens, and Ruggs on the debut for the Raiders. But yeah, they're super fun. I mean, like, it is funny because, like, thinking about it last year, like, I was thinking about trying to go to, like, the National and the States at the start of the year, at least. And then a lot of stuff happened where that wouldn't have been possible. And then on top of, like, you know, the travel restrictions, uh, Montgomery for the Bears, Brunel for the Jaguars, and on top of it getting canceled, uh, Michelle for the Patriots, uh, Tannehill for the Titans, uh, Jerry Rice for the 49ers on the Mosaic, Touchdown Masters, and Derek Brown for the Panthers. But, like, been to the Toronto Expo a few times. Lots of fun there. Um, I mean, just, yeah, lots of good memories. Elliott for the Cowboys. King for the Packers. Bosa for the 49ers. Haskins for Washington on the Green Mosaic. Thomas for the Bills on the Old School. And Claypool on the debut for the Steelers. A little bit quiet on the big, uh, big QBs here. I mean, we've got the Hurts, which is nice, but... A little bit quiet. Robinson for the Bears. Uh, Gonzalez for the Chiefs. McNabb for the Eagles. Marino for the Dolphins. Uh, Josh Allen on the Green Mosaic will win for the Bills. Patrick Queen for the Ravens. So they are definitely like, again, if you ever do get the opportunity to go to one, I like, I just suggest that even if you just go and walk around for a little bit, you know, just seeing what stuff is, talking to people, it's fun. You know, don't feel ever, don't ever really feel pressured that you have to get something while you're there. Um, if you've got cards in mind, like it's a great way to kind of complete sets and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes you can find specific card prices, but like, yeah, it's just a fun time. Uh, Beasley for the Bills, Johnson for the Texans, Long for the Raiders, Chandler Jones for the Cardinals, uh, Brady or Flea Flicker for the Bucks on the insert and Andrews for the Ravens yeah I mean I I'm slightly slightly worried about you know some of that culture like seeing some of the retail culture around sports cards lately hasn't been super great because it kind of rivals that uh seven for the Broncos Brown for the Bills Sherman for the 49ers Moss for the Vikings uh Moss on the Silver Hall of Fame for the Vikings that's nice uh Davis for the Bills uh, so like, I hope that doesn't really quite cross over because, you know, all it takes is a, you know, a bad experience at a show to never really want to go again. Right. Like I've, I've had those at shows where it wasn't a great experience and I've like, um, but like I've been there before, so I know that they can be good. Landry for the Browns, Ryan for the Falcons, Slayton for the Giants, uh, Denzel Mims for the Jets on the green. 
Uh, Tony Gonzalez for the Chiefs on the Touchdown Masters and Jerry Rice for the 49ers. So, like, you know, just go in there with the with a mindset of, like, hey, it's fun. It's a bunch of people in a similar, like, that like a similar thing. Let's focus on having fun rather than, you know, can I get the best deal of the day type of stuff or, like, stuff like that. I think it's just the better way to approach it long term. Saturday for the Colts. Beckham Jr. for the Browns. Mariota for the Raiders. Uh, Ertz for the Eagles. Brady on the Mosaic got game for the Bucks and Pittman Jr. for the Colts. So, you know, but again, like, obviously, like, there are good deals that shows. There, there are bad deals that shows, you know. I sold some stuff at shows. Uh, but I'd, I will do that in, like, after I got three packs left here. So, uh, Jones for the Packers, but yeah. Uh, Burns for the Panthers. Jordan for the Saints. Fuller for the Titans on the Mosaic. Daniel Jones for the Giants on the Will to Win. Rodgers on the MVPs for the Packers. Um, you know, like, just going there and having fun is really is really the biggest thing that you could do. Uh, Elway for the Broncos. Thomas for the Ravens. Uh, Peterson for the Vikings. Sapp for the Bucks. Uh, upside down silver. Uh, Jones for the Chiefs. Uh, we'll put that to the side. Hamler for the Broncos on the rookie. Uh, I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got a little bit of baseball, not a ton. I try to collect uh, Tyler O'Neill stuff just because, you know, at some point played baseball against him when I was young. And you you actually might have, too. Because uh, I think, is he a year younger? You might have maybe at some point. Yeah, so... But yeah, from hockey and ball, it's, it's kind of like, I just try to collect some of his stuff on the side. Uh, Boomer for the Bengals, same with Larry Walker. Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. Kittle for the 49ers. Ruggs for the Raiders on the Green debut. Sanders for the Eagles on the Got Game. And CeeDee Lamb for the Cowboys. So, but yeah, between hockey and ball, you shouldn't know him. Nice, yeah. So I always cheer for him whenever I see him, like, pop up in... Uh, I saw him first pop up in like cards and it's like, wait, I played, I played ball against him. And it's just like, that's so cool. I was like, so excited to see that. Right. So, uh, we'll throw this up, but yeah, I do a little bit of baseball, not a ton. Um, I'd say baseball is like probably my second biggest collection. Hockey's my main one. Um, basketball was mainly like I got into it and I just couldn't keep up with the, with the quite, quite with the overall costs. Um, just moving out from my parents to my own places, you know, some of your, some of your habits have to change. So, um, the first one was, uh, my sports card spending, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, but yeah, tried to collect some like Larry Walker. I'm trying to get, uh, like a Larry Walker transcendent, um, one. So, uh, Steelers have had a Claypool, Claypool Green, uh, like debut. They've had a, what are the other notable ones? Uh, Claypool True Rookie, uh, Juju Silver, I think so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool seeing him do well, so. But yeah, that's mainly like kind of what I what I do collection wise. I'm trying to mainly do like like even hockey. Like my hockey just stuff has kind of cooled off a lot. Um, I I need to move stuff more than bring in stuff. Um, so that is my uh, that is my big thing. At some point, I'm gonna sit down and go through my collection and kind of uh, just kind of move things around. Try to you know see see what I want to keep, see what I don't want to keep. Um, you know, I've got, unfortunately, fortunately, a lot of Rasmus Dahlin stuff that I haven't lost on because he was really, really low at a certain point and he hasn't quite crossed that threshold of being bad enough for long enough yet. But, uh, you know, got some stuff. Um, my Matthew, I, I don't think I'll have my Matthews PSA 10 Young Gun in a, in a month from now, so... 
Yeah, I, I'm honestly trying to stay off of eBay too. I just, I've had some really, like, some really just rough issues, especially, like, cards under $50, $60, $70. Uh, I've had some really rough issues there with people saying that they haven't got them and then seeing them because they're serial numbered on eBay a few weeks later. So, um, I mean, I guess it happens, but at the same time, it's just, it's just frustrating when it happens. So I'd rather just sell to people I know, and that's why I like the local shows that way. Uh, Manning for the Colts on the pink. Uh, Woodson for the Steelers on the pink. And Ravens for the... Or Andrews for the Ravens there. But yeah, selling stuff is normally pretty tedious. And yeah, exactly, Vincent. Uh, so Keekley for the Panthers. Cup for the Rams. And Henry Ruggs for the Raiders on the pink. Um, so I'll probably like post on Twitter and stuff. Make sure like, um, you know you'll actually stay true to your claim or like maybe maybe some Facebook groups and stuff like that. So that I'm a part of. But like even on Facebook, I had someone back out of cards like, and just cause they're just like, oh, like, well, I don't think I'll be able to sell that the day after. Uh, Sanders for the Lions, uh, Adams for the Jets and Moss for the Vikings and stuff like that is like really upsetting as a seller. Yeah, the yeah the eBay fees are another one. Like I will, I will sell like at shows. I generally price like at eBay price and then like, Kind of try to meet halfways in the middle for fees because I feel like that's just the best thing. Uh, Cooper for the Cowboys, McCordy for the Patriots, and Erlacher for the Bears. Because, like, I think everyone buying, like, buying you don't really care too much about the fees, but selling you do. And so, like, it's a good, it's a win-win for a buyer and a seller if they can kind of negotiate in between that. More for the Panthers, Metcalf for the Seahawks, and Justin Jefferson for the Vikings on the pink. So... But like, again, the eBay fees are there for a reason. Um, they they want to make money, so. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We have lacked the good QBs. So more for the Lions, once for the Eagles, and it's the debut pink camo of Herbert for the Chargers. Uh, laughing day, yeah, I'll pull that up right now. All right, it's a pink camo debut of Herbert. That is stand worthy for me. That is stand worthy. Uh, Laughing Day, let me know when you got your team so I can uh, move on. Yeah, 10% is pretty hefty. It, it really is. Andrews for the Ravens, uh, Ngakwe for the Jaguars, and Jerry Rice for the 49ers. But at the same time, it's like, you know, part of it's there because like it does cost infrastructure and stuff. Uh. Yeah, yeah, the PayPal one's tough too. Uh, Matthew for the Chiefs, Chancellor for the Seahawks, and Claypool Pink debut for the Steelers. But, like, I know there are some people celebrating that, like, eBay did the direct deposit stuff, but it really hasn't, like, fee -wise, fees wise, it hasn't changed, so. Uh, COMCs, it depends on who you ask. I know there's been some issues. Just as with everything, like anything logistically during the pandemic has kind of been tough. Boyd for the Bengals, uh, Cook for the Vikings, Queen for the Ravens on the pink. I know they had top loader issues like shortages and just getting, you know, people into short, like ship stuff because it's like a giant warehouse, right? So doing that safely was kind of, I'm guessing, pretty tough for them for a little bit. But like whenever I've used them in the past, at least like digitally, like I have cards that I bought on there. And like are still in my account. Uh, Tredavious White for the Bills, Williams for the Chargers, uh, Terrell for the Falcons, and I've had no issues. Like, I like even when I've got stuff shipped to me, I had no issues. Again, it was pre-pandemic, but like for the most part, it it's kind of like right now just expect delays and really that's about it. It should be fine. Galladay for the Lions, Darnold for the Jets, uh, Russell Wilson for the Seahawks. So. Um, they do have fees as well, but again, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, we know, we know what the debut looks like, so we know what one this one is. Vic for the Falcons, McLaurin for Washington, and Herbert True Pink Camel for the Chargers. But yeah, like, ZOMC is fine. Um, 
it's it's again it's another place so <laughs> it's so funny like how hit and miss herbert and tua both are very hit and miss so and it seems like like we this is i think like the first time in a few weeks that we haven't hit a burrow pink and like honestly first time that we haven't hit a burrow at all so saturday for the colts uh beckham jr for the browns uh Bayard for the titans barber for the giants Payne Manning for the Broncos on the green touchdown masters and Johnson for the Bucks. Not to be confused with the other Tampa Bay Tyler Johnson. Oh. Yeah, there's Dobbins. Jones for the Packers. Burns for the Panthers. Edelman for the Patriots. Fuller Green Mosaic for the Bears. Daniel Jones for the Giants on the Will to Win. And Dobbins for the Ravens on the debut. Whenever I hear, like, any name that's just, like, Dobbins, Dobby, something like that, I always think of Dobby from Harry Potter. Uh, Elway for the Broncos. Thomas for the Ravens. I don't know. I guess it's just the name, but uh, Williams for the Dolphins. Wilson for the Seahawks. Uh, Miles Sanders for the Eagles on the uh, Got Game. And Henderson for the Jaguars. I always think of... Master gave Dobby a sock. Dobby is a free elf. And it just always pops into my mind. Just always. Boomer for the Bengals. Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. Jackson for the Eagles. Jake Fromm on the uh, Mosaic rookie. Again, probably not the bright QB to hit, but not the worst, I'd say. It's Manning for the Broncos and Galladay for the Lions. So Not the worst, but not the best. And that's kind of uh, par for the course, right? Again, don't think he's stand worthy, but I'll sleep even top of that just because it is a rookie QB and he is a younger one. If he does ever turn out to be anything good. Uh, Hicks for the Cardinals. Singletary for the Bills. Saquon for the Giants. Uh, Crosby for the Raiders. Well, that's a pretty big one. Justin Jefferson, silver rookie for the Vikings. That's our first real, I feel like our first real, oh, and Chase Young rookie right behind it. That's our first real big silver rookie from Mosaic, it feels like. I know we hit the Herbert debut silver a few weeks ago, but, like, that's the first real big one, I'd say. All right, we need to reorganize these. The auto will go there. Put this one in the middle just because it's a silver. That goes there. Probably need to slide these more over a little bit. I wish I could have like magnets on the stands. I might actually look into that. So that way like they just plop into place properly until we deal with like silver cards and then they just stick to the table. <laughs> We're out of top loaders. Or top loaders, not top loader sleeves. There we go, get a new pack open. Yeah, football breaks chew through sleeves. Just crush the sleeves. Second Chase Young base rookie, by the way. All right. Well, uh, that, this, is, this is a good box of uh, Cello. The first Cello wasn't super great. Um, Intrude for the Jaguars, Garrett for the Browns, Godwin for the Bucks, Aikman for the Cowboys on the green, uh, Rice for the 49ers on the old school, and Jim Kelly for the Bills. Uh, the auto is Jimmy Ward for the 49ers. Here it comes a CD. Adams for the Packers. Mac for the Bears. Allen for the Chargers. Uh, Juju for the Steelers. Uh, Flea Flicker Mosaic for the Cardinals. And CD Lamb, true rookie for the boys. That's a pretty nice little stand there, though. Well, that's also a good rookie. Remember that true? I think that's... I want to say that's true. Davis for the Broncos. Allen for the Bills. Taylor for the Giants. Uh, Grappolo for the 49ers on the Green Mosaic. Thielen for the Vikings on the Got Game. And, no, oh, it is a, a debut of Burrow for the Bengals. Nice little Burrow. Second best pro athlete with Burrow in their name. First being Alex Burrows, of course. No bias here. At all. 
Uh, Mahomes for the Chiefs. I'll get that sleeved up in a second. Hopkins for the Cardinals. Stidham for the Patriots. Uh, George for the Titans. Uh, green of Rice for the 49ers on the old school. I like the old schools with the different colors. And CEH for the Chiefs. Here we go. We're into the hot rookies. Uh, Robert, you had... Uh, I can't find your name. Du, 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 the Jaguars. So, you've got like nothing major, but some some like decent stuff. So, all right. And a Brady right behind it. The Bradys don't sell as well as the Mahomes, but Watson for the Texans, Tillman for the Bears, Argent for the Seahawks. J.J. Watt for the Texans on the green mosaic. Rodgers for the Packers on the will to win. And Brady on the MVPs for the Patriots. We'll sleeve that one up, though, just because it is MVPs and is more recognizable team. Well, there's a LaVisca. I know a lot of people, last or the last football break, were pretty high on him. Uh, Sutton for the Broncos. Brown for the Bills. Watt for the Steelers. Uh, Gusecki for the Dolphins. Chubb for the Browns, and Chanot Jr. for the Jaguars. And this is the debut CEH. Landry for the Browns. Uh, Ryan for the Falcons. Waller for the Raiders. Oh, for the Rams, we have their uh, Genesis's, I think. Or are they Genesis's? Yeah, I think. Or Yeah. A Falk for the Rams. These are super, super tough to hit. And too bad it's not a rookie, but nice one. Who had them? Who had the Rams? Justin. Uh, that's going to bump something off. Honestly, Herbert Pink debut, you can get bumped off. Hurts, you can move over. Uh, Jefferson, you can move over. We'll put that right in the middle. First time we've 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 pulled a couple of them now. We've pulled two in football, one in basketball. Uh, Gonzalez for the Chiefs and Ch for the Chiefs on the debut. So right, they are uh, trying to uh, yeah Genesis. Okay, cool. Trying to make sure their names. I got the name right there. Too bad it wasn't a rookie, but like, hey, it's still still sick. So, uh, Chubb for the Browns, Kirk for the Cardinals, Bosa for the 49ers, Michelle for the Patriots, Mosaic of Elway for the Broncos on the Got Game, and Dylan for the Packers. So, yeah, this is a uh, crush of a cello box. Silver Jefferson, the uh, Genesis of Falk, uh, the Herbert Pinks, I mean, yeah. Bridgewater for the Panthers, Vinatieri for the Colts, he just retired. Marino for the Dolphins, Prescott for the Cowboys on the Mosaic, Brady for the Bucks on the Got Game, and Irvin for the Cowboys. And apologies if you can hear the neighborhood car alarm that goes off every uh, every single uh, day, multiple times. Uh, Judden for the Ravens, uh, Far for the Packers. Long for the Ra Raiders, McNabb for the Eagles, uh, Upside Down Silver of Thurman Thomas for the Bills, and Zach Moss for the Bills on the rookie. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got some stuff. The, the main sealed boxes that I actually have outside of like 2016 17 Upper Deck Series 1 tins, because long story short, there is like an auction and they had a lot of them, and I was only expecting like from the pictures like 12 and there ended up being, I don't know why I sleeved that one right away, but anyways, um, there ended up being like 30 of them. So uh, I still have some kicking around, but I pulled a couple of Matthews Young Guns from them. Uh, just fun to open every once in a while. Murray for the Cardinals. And then like, yeah, Magic the Gathering, I have a couple sealed boxes. So uh, Locke for the Broncos, Manning for the Giants, uh, Gibson for the Washington football team on the Green Mosaic. Jerry Rice for the 49ers, and Eason for the Colts. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, when you have like 30 tins of them, it uh, you should, in theory, get a couple. So, 
<laughs> at least one, but yeah. Mac for the Colts, uh, Eifert for the Bengals, Hunter for the Vikings, uh, Henry for the Titans, Aikman for the Cowboys on the old school, and Eason for the Colts on the rookie. But the uh, the weirder, the most like, the one box that I don't regret opening, but also regret opening, actually two of them, I had sealed 0506 Series 1 hobby and retail that I opened a couple years ago just to celebrate my job changes and uh, Jones for the Cardinals, Miller for the Broncos, Bosa for the Chargers. Those were tough to open because they weren't great, but it was still fun. Uh, Rudolph for the Vikings on the Green Mosaic uh, for the Packers, uh, the Flea Flicker, and Kevin Green for the Panthers because, like, I'm never, ever going to be able to say I opened up one of those. I started collecting around then, so I opened up Blasters because big Gilbert Brule fan here, uh, Montgomery for the Bears, but opened them up. They weren't great, but had some fun. Uh, Brunel for the Jaguars, Thomas for the Dolphins, Jones for the Giants, Tannehill for the Titans on the silver, and Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. So those ones weren't great. Um, I pulled, but I pulled most of the big young guns, um, at least of late. So, um, <laughs> I opened up. I opened up a lot of fifteen, sixteen uh, hobby because there was a. There is a point where it was actually worthwhile to open it up, um, to like open it up and try to get McDavid's. And same with retail. Uh, Elliot for the Cowboys, because they were just selling for more. King for the Packers, Roethlisberger for the Steelers, Duvernay for the Ravens on the Green Mosaic, uh, Thomas for the Bills on the Old School, and TJ Watt for the Steelers. That is not the case anymore, by the way, but um, it was at one point worthwhile. Believe it or not. And so I did it. And I, I got one. It was a lot of fun. Robinson for the Bears. Gonzalez for the Chiefs. Namath for the Jets. Uh, Tomlinson for the Chargers. Uh, Flea Flicker for the Bucks. And Gibson for the Washington football team. Do I regret it looking at box prices now? A little bit. Uh, the McDavid, I sold both of them, actually. Um... I, one of them I sold to trade for some stuff that I really wanted, um, and including, it's, it's long story short, uh, Beasley for the Bills. One of them was dinged up, which kind of sucked, but Johnson for the Texans, Haskins for the Redskins, uh, Goff for the Rams on the Green Mosaic, Manning for the Colts on the Will to Win, and Aikman for the Cowboys. Like, it wouldn't have gotten an 8 at grading, so that one I sold in person at a show. Well, traded for some stuff that I think I did really well on that deal. Um... And, like, that guy is very happy with his as well. Jones for the Falcons. Stafford for the Lions. Lockett for the Seahawks. Uh, Gilmore for the Patriots. Uh, Thielen on the Green got game for the Vikings. Duvernay for the Ravens on the Rookie. Uh, the other one I sold, and I turned around and spent the exact same money that I sold it for on a BGS-10 uh, McDavid Young Gun Canvas. So, Fournette for the Jaguars. Hunt for the Browns. Taylor for the Dolphins. Edmonds for the Bills on the Green Mosaic. Uh, got game for the Colts of Leonard and Rieger for the Eagles. Yeah, the uh, the BGS 10 McDavid was a abs like it was a really really good price. So really good stuff from uh, from Mosaic from that cello in particular. Uh, let me just move the uh, move the base around because it is. A full house here but yeah that was some good stuff uh and I, i've got a lot of cool cards my honestly i've been looking through at my jared mccann stuff lately and just debating whether or not i want to move some of it um but i think i'll hold on to it i like them so i got a i got to meet his agent through you know my past work and so got a personalized signed photo of him um which is kind of just it's actually tucked away right right kind of near me so i can see it whenever i want some nice little mccann motivation but yeah uh just again that's gonna be part of like my uh card collecting uh internal i do a mini audit on my cards every once in a while just to see what they are i have them written out in a spreadsheet and if you are just getting into card collecting like try to do inventory like keep on top of it as your cards come in because 
if you let it get out of control after the fact, it's really, really hard to catch up. Uh, Bryce Love for Washington, Thompson for the Panthers, Jordan Brooks for the Seahawks on the rookie, and uh, Epinesa for the Bills on the Orange Lasers rookie. Yeah, there's lots of, lots of, lots of cool experiences. So, met a lot of great people. I mean, meeting McDavid is really cool. Seeing McDavid play with it. Ooh, that's a good card on the back there. Seeing McDavid play with a fidget spinner was the best. Smith for the Bills. Connor for the Steelers. Uh, Harris for the Vikings. And Brady, orange lasers for the Bucks. That's a nice card. Um, that was pretty cool. I mean, I think it's like on my Facebook memories. I think it was like this time few like i guess it's two years ago three years ago uh i forget i think it, it might have been two years ago i can't actually fully remember now no it's three years ago uh, atkins for the Bengals, paul for the bucks easton for the colts on the rookie and jarwin on the lasers for the cowboys uh it was when i was like in a uh, I think I was down for like a UFC stream where we had like, um, for who was all in it, but it was really like a really cool kind of event and something that I was really lucky to be a part of. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was a really fun time. And then like had a call with like Justin Bieber's agent at the time, which was really cool. Uh, Bush for the Steelers, McGinnis for the Patriots, uh, Tavai for the Lions, uh, Mims for the Jets. So it was like one of those most surreal things. It's like, I'm in Vegas for a work event, staying in like a penthouse suite overlooking everything and uh, on the phone with that. And it's like, oh, uh, Gusecki for the Dolphins, Hill for the Saints, Bowden Jr. for the Raiders on the rookie, and Manning for the Colts on the Lasers. But it was, uh, it was weird. I mean, it never really amounted to anything, which is like, in hindsight, not the worst, so... Uh, Allen for the Jaguars, Anderson for the Bengals, Silver of Williams for the Raiders, and Fireworks of Thomas for the Saints, but lots of fun memories. Um, oh yeah, Clappy, Clappy's, I mean, a lot of people don't understand how difficult that job is, especially since his role just isn't straight CM. I mean, neither was mine there, but it's a really, really tough job, uh, especially if you don't, like, when there's no overtime involved in it and like you you care about it a lot <laughs> it's, uh, you can put in some pretty long days especially when you know uh stuff hits a stuff hits a wall so there are some i definitely had a lot of like my average work day was probably 10 12 hours so it was not not healthy so i'm glad i'm doing this now. Hardman for the Chiefs, and I'm happy you're doing this too. Sherman for the 49ers, uh, Oja Mudia for the Broncos, and Fulton for the Titans on the Orange Lasers, so. Yeah, I mean, when the uh, Star Wars Battlefront stuff, again, trying not to talk too much about it on here, but like, ooh, we got like a jersey or something here. But when the like Star Wars Battlefront stuff happened, that was really tough. Uh, T.Y. Hilton for the Colts, Boykin for the Ravens, and then there's some other stuff along that. Oh, this could be really sick. Yep, premier jersey prism for the Eagles of Jalen Hurts. And K.J. Wright for the Seahawks. So it was uh, it was not fun. Uh, I can tell you firsthand that dealing with death threats is not fun. Um, <laughs> especially, like, yeah, when they start attacking, like, you and people that you... Uh, what do we get rid of here? Honestly, the auto's been on here the entire time, so that's got to go. But yeah, it is uh, it is something that like again, like talking to the counselor about, and this it's a good thing for like any job, anything in life. Uh, Brucey for the Patriots, uh, Jones for the Falcons, uh, Okuda for the Lions on the rookie, and Eddie Jackson for the Bears on the Orange Lasers is that like a lot of times when people are mad at like your job or something like that, like they aren't actually mad directly at you. They're just mad at something else and it's manifesting itself in that situation. And you've got to try and depersonalize it as best as you can and like evaluate like, hey, did I do something wrong? No, okay. Then they're just, you know, you've got to try to find a way through it. So Parker for the Dolphins, Steeler, or Johnson for the Steelers, Ram Woods for the Rams, 
And uh, Egbinogene for the Dolphins on the Orange Lasers. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, you know, sometimes people need, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all wired in a way to be kind of like lightning rods, right? We all... We all like to complain and get stuff out, and sometimes it's just the person that's, like, closest to you or closest to the situation at that moment that you just latch to, even if it's not their fault. Uh, Allen for the Bills, Thielen for the Vikings, Diggs for the Cowboys on the Rookie, and Mosley for the Jets on the Orange Lasers. And, like, again, it's the same thing with anything. With eBay, with, with like, sports cards, again, if you've ever had, like, a bad selling experience... Um, or like a bad buying experience or someone's really mad at you for no reason. Like it could just be that they're having a rough day. Uh, Rivers for the Colts and you just got to try and like depersonalize it. Humphrey for the Ravens. Ocho Cinco for the Bengals on the silver. And Akers on the Emergent for the Rams. So, but yeah. That's really about it for today's break. Again, a little bit of a weird end to that. But lots of good stuff. Like honestly, tons of good stuff. We got a jersey. We got an autograph. Um, Prism didn't fully sucked this time which was nice uh prism's been kind of rough the past few last week it was okay this week it's kind of like okay so but nice hurts jersey obviously the herbert pink is the big one uh the falk genesis and yeah um really nice display the jefferson silver always good but i'm gonna go because i think my oven's probably preheated already so uh i will see you all next week i will uh i'll yeah Hopefully, uh, don't know quite what's on tap for next week, but uh, I'm sure you'll find out when, you know, things are decided. So, again, congrats, everyone. They'll get this stuff sorted. It'll get dropped off either, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday and then shipped out from there. Um, but, yeah, take care. As always, you know, be sure to have some fun and enjoy your weekend. See ya.